Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Serious question here. Are there any four words that get bodybuilding fans more fired up online than new Big Rammy picks? In case you missed it, a few days ago, Rammy set the internet on fire when he released a never-before-seen photo of himself looking so ridiculously shredded that it was like something right out of a Marvel movie. Now to be clear, Rami and his team didn't say whether or not the photo was recent. But since it's been so long since we've seen anything like this from Rami, I don't think it really matters if it's recent or not. This version of Rami is what people think of when they talk about him as a legitimate title contender for the Olympia throne because when he's in this kind of shape, he's without a doubt one of the most unstoppable forces in the IFBB. And if this is a recent photo, it means he could be getting ready to release a whole world of hurt on some people a lot sooner than expected. If the best training partners are the ones who push you past your limits and into uncharted territory, the crew Flex Lewis has been running with lately are definitely the right people for the job. Recently, Flex managed to team up with four-time World Strongest Man Brian Shaw and powerlifter slash internet sensation Big Boy from the Strength Cartel for what had to be one of the most punishing workouts he's had in a very long time. One of the things that really stood out to me after seeing Flex in this group is how small he looks standing next to these two guys that tip the scales at three and four hundred pounds. Even for Flex, who I'm told is sitting somewhere in the neighborhood of 250, Trying to keep pace with these guys had to be a humbling experience. And that's what training partners do. They humble you and sometimes that means taking you into deep water. But at the end of the day, if this is what gives Flex that extra push he needs to contend for the Olympia title, I guess it's all worth it in the end. In team sports, culture is huge. Winning and losing are both things that have to be learned and the culture that surrounds an athlete is a huge part of that process. So for someone like Alex Cabernero, who's one of the few people who knows what it takes to win at the highest level in classic physique, I think having that culture well established heading into the early stages of this year's Olympia prep is a huge advantage. Winning the Arnold title at the start of the year essentially primed his mindset for excellence which is exactly what you need when you're trying to challenge guys like Chris Bumstead and Breon Ansley. So if you can really bear down and dig deep into the roots of that winning culture, I think that in the end, it could be enough to push him over the top. You should be wary of the man who walks softly and carries a big stick. And if you were surveying the landscape of the 212 division right now, you'd have a hard time finding someone who walked softer and carried a bigger stick than Noel Adami. Throughout his entire year, Noel's been holed up and working quietly down at his home base in Mexico, trying to erase the sting of a rough outing at last year's Olympia. When he won the Indy Pro last March in the lineup that featured some pretty high-level guys, it showed how good he can be when he's completely locked in. So if you can get back to that level of conditioning, I'd look out for him to catch some people by surprise between now and October. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.